everybody, Nathan from Club Card here again. Uh, welcome to our quick tips video series. Um, today I'm going to show you how to set up a business card or any other size card um, with white ink printing. Um, so we'll go over to Illustrator here. So I have a document already prepared with uh, four artboards, as you can see. Um, and we've got the full color artwork front and back. And I also have these two artboards here with uh, some black outlines. Um, now what these black outlines are is actually where I am indicating to Club Card uh, to print the white ink. Um, it's a little strange, I know, because obviously uh, submitting files that are black for printing is white, but um, it makes sense if you think if this was white, I wouldn't be able to see it on this uh, white background. So just to be as clear as possible, we make sure that um, anything for white printing is supplied as a, as a solid color that is distinct from the other artwork in your design. Um, so in this case, we're just using black. Um, now, the way I have this set up is um, anywhere I want the white ink to be printed underneath this full color artwork, I have as uh, black ink on this other artboard. Um, so you can see what I'll show you is um, I'm going to copy this, go edit, copy, click on the full color artboard and go edit, paste in place. Now you can see that this lines up uh, exactly with the silhouette um, on the front. Um, so what that's going to do is print white ink underneath this silhouette so that the colors stand out um, on whatever color uh, paper that you're printing on um, and ensures that uh, that the colors are bright and that they pop uh, off of the background. Um, I also have this in uh, set up on the back side as well. Um, so you can see it's underneath this banner here. Um, if we copy this and paste it in place on the back, um, you can see it uh, covers that completely. And this is gonna not only make this orange color pop, but also these areas that are white on the back. If we didn't have the white ink backup behind there, um, you would just see the color of the paper in this white area. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Anytime you're printing on our uh, brown craft stock or our uh, black card stock, anywhere that's white, on here will actually be the paper color when printed. So in order for these white parts of the banner to show up as white on the cardstock, um, I have to include those areas in my uh, white ink layer. Uh, so once you have that set up, um, you can go up to file, save as, give that a name and save it as a PDF file. And we're going to use the PDF X1A 2001 preset as usual. Uh, under marks and bleeds, we need to ensure that the use document bleed settings option is applied. If you're not sure about these options, make sure to go back and watch our videos on how to create a new Illustrator document and how to save as a PDF. Save that. And now if we open that up, um, you can see I've got four artboards or four pages in the PDF. Uh, for the front full color artwork, the front uh, white ink layer, the back full color artwork, and the back white ink layer. And you should make sure that these uh, white ink layers are in the exact same spot as what you're printing behind on the CMYK layer, or you will have uh, some alignment issues there. Um, but you can see scrolling these pages, everything is lining up, uh, and I'm ready to send that off to print. So thanks everybody. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, make sure to check out clubcard.ca for all of our products and pricing. And uh, make sure to leave a comment if you have any special requests for video tutorials in the future. Thanks.